Well, here to motivate you that little bit more is the founder of Boxer Size, Andy Wake, and Olympic silver medalist, Sharon Davis. Great to see you both this morning and a very, very happy new year. We're getting some views in, uh, guys, about their new, res new year's resolutions. And I think this is, this is a good one. Uh, Paddy and Andover says, I'm just going out for a run. The first step is putting your training kit on. That is absolutely <laughs> true, isn't it, Sharon? Yeah, absolutely. It takes about three months to make or break a habit. And that's really the secret to exercise. It's that longevity to create a habit that you can have for the rest of your life, really, because it's investing in yourself, you know, the well-being. And it's not just physically being fit. If you exercise, it, you know, it, it produces endorphins. Endorphins is really good for our mental health. So there's, there's two big advantages to exercising. And exercising means getting in the gym and lifting some weights because we lose muscle from the age of about 30. And of course, muscles burn calories calories in versus calories out that is really one of the most simple equations about trying to lose weight and the other one is raising your heart rate cardiovascular work which is good for the insides and uh, you know that's really important too and that really does mean raising our heart rates to the point where we are working a little bit harder the rate is going up to for me about 130 140 beats a minute and you're getting a bit of a sweat on if you're not doing that you're probably not really making much of a difference and then core and balance is another one that's really really important you know ability to stand up right and to have the center of our body really strong and if you look at people that age and, and fall over and have hip problems about 30 percent don't recover and in fact the mortality rate is really high so maintaining our ability to have to have balance and core is really important as we age Andy, it can be a big step, can't it, to go to the gym for the first time, particularly if you're not used to it and perhaps you're self-conscious about other people in the gym being better than you but the gym is all about exercise and keeping healthy, isn't it? It is for everybody. I think that's arguably the most intelligent question that anybody could ask uh, about people going to the gym and being intimidated. What you've got to remember when you go to the gym is everybody has been a beginner once. I've been a beginner once. Everybody else that's been to a gym has been a beginner. Now, what we've got to the, the people that I'd try to inspire, if, if the gym is the thing for you, then fair enough. It might be going out for a walk. But every person in that gym is behind you and admires you for actually going in there and taking those first few steps. If you're going in and you're thinking, oh, they're judging me, that's precisely the opposite of what they're doing. They're with you and they, they really are supportive of you. The good thing about gyms is you'll also meet new friends and meet a new social circle. But I would, I would add to what Sharon said earlier. And what I would say is it might be that the gym is not the right thing for you. And I, I know I'm supposed to say boxing and boxer size is the, the best thing for you. But if going out for a cycle is your favorite thing, you're more likely to adhere to it. Mm. If going out for a run is your thing, you've, you've just got to go with what you enjoy the most. And I'd rather someone stuck at it, you know, doing it two times a week over a whole year than every day for a month. It's all about persistence. That's, that's what the advice I would give. And Sharon, in terms of the time of year, I mean, this is what I struggle from in, in January. Yes, I want to do more exercise and I want to go for a run, but then I look outside and it's cold, dark, it's rainy and, you know, a box set at home is much more appealing, quite frankly. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, really good advice there. It, it really is about every little bit helps. Remember that. Um, and of course, you know, you don't have to go out in the cold and the wet. There are lots of fantastic online programs. I've got one myself. And, and so you can do your exercise from the living room if you really want to. Um, it's about finding the things that you enjoy and then just being consistent with it and keeping on and make friends. Find a friend to go and do it with. Because that's mm. one of the best ways of actually having a little bit of a cheat. And if you don't feel like it today, your mate who you're meeting will feel like it and they'll encourage you to try and do it. So I think that's quite a, quite a good one. Um, you've always got to remember if you're trying to, to get fit and to lose some weight, then good eating habits go with obviously exercising as well. You can't do one without the other. So if you eat colourful and try not to eat late and get rid of those processed sugars, they're really the enemy. Uh, unfortunately, reduce the alcohol if you can, because that's the thing we've probably all done just a little bit too much recently. Um, and that, you know, that can make a big difference because we often don't count the calories that we're drinking. We count the calories that we're eating. Andy, how long should you stick with a particular exercise, particularly if you feel like you might not be enjoying it before you decide to give up and try something else? 
That's really difficult. It's all down to the individual's persistence. I would, rather than giving up the habit of exercise, what I would do is I would continue trying what you're doing and then I'd add something else and see which one you prefer. But generally cycling, your form of exercise, like I, I like to go for a, a cycle every now and again. That's probably the uh, the wrong term to use in that in that sentence. But I like to go cycling every now and again. Then when the, the nights are rubbish and it's horrible weather like now, I'm more likely to go for a jog or something like that along the beach it just depends um i'd say six weeks every six weeks is a good a good chance to change things over um and quite often it can be seasonal for different people just don't give up doing everything all at once or stop doing one thing try one thing and then overlap it with something else and see which one you prefer but don't give up that's the important thing just don't give up Sharon, just a very quick word from you um, because um, you are still looking in great shape and I'm very aware that as a former gladiator, you're probably pleased that <laughs> Gladiators is making a comeback. Yeah, oh, I, have, I have sort of... I have um, nightmares about 3-2-1 sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a really interesting show. That was in the 90s and I managed to, to snap my cruciate ligament doing that show. So yeah, it'd be really fascinating to see what they've done with it because I think health and safety today is going to make it quite difficult to do it anything like we used to do way back in the 90s. So I, I'm looking forward to it. But a really happy new year to everybody. And remember that investing in health and fitness is really investing in you and it's really important. And happy new year to you too. Thank you so much, both Andy Wake, uh, founder of Box Size, Sharon Davies, former Olympic silver medalist.